Reach! We're gonna regain normal range of motion. So what we're gonna do, because we know this is a neck and shoulder muscle, often this restricts your motion here. And very commonly, we have an issue with extension, flexion, and or rotation. But typically, we can restore those ranges of motions just by doing one exercise. So what we're gonna do is the chin tuck look back. So what is that? Very simply, I'm gonna grow my spine long. I'm gonna tuck the chin like this, like I'm giving myself a temporary double chin, and relax. Once you have that motion and you're not shrugging your shoulders off, up, watch out for that, tuck the chin in, and then next we're gonna look up toward the ceiling as far as we can go. If that feels okay, it should feel tight. If that feels okay, then we can breathe out and give a little wiggle from side to side like we're saying, uh-uh. That helps us sink into that end range there. If you're having trouble with hiking your shoulders up, just take your fingertips and think about reaching down toward the ground as you tuck your chin in. That'll help free up you being able to do this exercise. Now, if this is too pinchy here, that's actually a good sign. That means you need more of this, but we need to gently nudge it, not force it, more or less kiss the pain and slowly regain that motion. So the next step is what we can do to make this a little easier is we take our fingertips and we place them on either side of our shoulders like this. And you can see my fingertips here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push my fingertips here and then think about driving my elbows forward this way to compress that area. Now when I chin tuck against that, it can feel a little easier and then I can slowly lift my head up and it can free it up and get you further before it starts to hurt. Good. Now if that doesn't work, you can always explore going up a little higher through fingertips in the neck or going a little bit lower. Sometimes it's just a matter of going and finding that right spot. Now if you're still oh, having a hard time with this, it's best just to stick with the chin tuck. Do some of this here where you chin tuck, give a little push, chin tuck, give a little push, and over a period of a few days or so, we can retest this and see if we're getting further. Ultimately with the goal of getting back as far as you can go, because some people don't go all the way back, some people only go here, but it should be a pain-free range of motion. Really at the end, it should just feel kind of like a, a stretch. Now you wanna perform this exercise 10 times every three to four hours, that's about 50 times a day, and you wanna do this for at least two weeks until you have restored that range of motion.